Hi guys, welcome to the Concrete Jungle Mixed Martial Arts Gym in El Paso, Texas. My name is Isaac Olmos, I'm the head MMA instructor here. Today we're going to be talking about blending movements. Now the reason that we blend movements is because we want our strikes to be closer together in succession in time. It, it gives the appearance of us striking more quickly, but that's not actually the case. So my body mechanics, um, you know, my muscles aren't faster. I'm not executing these movements more quickly. What I'm doing is I'm blending movements. So I'm erasing movements that I don't need, and then I'm blending them together a little bit more efficiently. It, um, to explain this concept, we're gonna uh, talk about the jab straight combination or the two combination. Typically when I pop my jab, my weight starts in my right leg, I come into my left, and then I reset, and then I throw my straight after that. So it looks like this. Okay, so, bam, bam. You want to build a rhythm. When I start teaching to blend movements, instead of bam, bam, it turns into bam, bam. You know, the way that we do that is, it's understanding that there's movement happening in between the strike. And that movement that's happening in between the strike, if it's not uh, critical to the harder strike in the end, then I eliminate that. Now the purpose of me throwing my jab straight is gonna be to land my straight, that's the harder punch. The jab is there to set up combinations, uh, to gauge distance, uh, to interrupt my opponent's combinations. So when I pop my jab and I'm throwing my straight after it, it's really a facade. Let me show you in my feet. So I'm gonna start in my right leg, I'm going to stagger the top of my body and then I'm going to drop my weight into my left foot, drawing the straight. So instead of me being in the right leg and coming in all the way resetting and then straight, I drop my weight into the straight as if I was dropping my weight into the jab, so I blend those movements. Earlier in the fight, you establish your jab throwing a hard jab. Okay, understand that, that that having a hard jab is good. But there's a moment in time where I'm getting a good reaction from my opponent. Maybe he's parrying, or he's catching too hard or flinching, and he leaves me an opportunity to drop my straight. That's the kind of circumstance that we do this in. When I'm coming forward, staggering my stance, I don't throw my weight completely into the left leg yet. What I do, is I stagger the stance, giving the illusion of me throwing a full power jab, and then I rotate very quickly, using some centrifugal force in my hips, and then drop my weight into my left. So what it does is it brings the punches together um, in relation to time. They're, they're closer in time together. One more time, we're gonna go here. Jab, reset straight. That's the way we regularly learn. And this is us bending the movement. Bam, bam. Okay, so there's a difference. Um, we have a lot of combinations we work this concept with. We do it with the uppercut left hook. We also do it with the, the straight hook. So we eliminate unnecessary movements. Um, and we only use the movements that are essential to us executing uh, a well-leveraged strike. Okay guys, um, hope that wasn't too confusing. I wanna thank you again for visiting our YouTube channel. Leave comments below and we'll see you next week.